Kia ora. From time to time you have one of those what to do moments where you've got to make a decision but you know that none of the options available to you will really give you the best outcome. That's what happened to me not so long after rescaping this tank. The fish all seem quite comfortable in the new surroundings and I have in there a small group of albino cory catfish. Now I just caught out of the corner of my eye that one of the quarries had something fluffy attached to its left fin, but I couldn't get a good view of it. At first I thought its petrol fin had snagged some algae, as in this tank I've got some very fine filaments of algae uh, to which grains of sand have attached. I'll just see if I can show you that. I then managed to get a better view of the quarry and realised it was much more serious. So I set about trying to catch it. Now in a tank like this it can be very difficult to catch a fish if that fish does not want to be caught. But I was lucky I was able to scoop it out and then examine it more closely. At this point I didn't do any more filming as I was on the internet to confirm my suspicions. In New Zealand we are very limited as to what we can get in the way of fish treatments, especially for bacterial infections. But as it happens I did have some of the Pimifix. Now Pimifix is supposed to treat fungal infections and both internal and external bacterial infections. It uh, will not adversely affect the biological filter, alter pH or discolour water safe for live plants etc. So for me that was what I had and that's what I was going to use. Now I had used this a couple of years ago in a nano tank as a preventative, uh, no problems at all, although it took quite a while to actually flush it out of the media. I treated both the infected fish and the main aquarium as the disease was likely contagious. Now I didn't film it at the time, but not long after I put in the medication, all five of my cootie loaches came out from hiding and were swimming madly around the tank. That's not in itself unusual, uh, as they are very sensitive to changes in the water. Uh, for example, one time I'd bored up some leaves to make some tannins to add to the tank, and when the water had cooled down, I poured some into the tank and again the uh, Kuti loaches uh, took exception to this and put on a display. But what was unusual this time is that after that they became very lethargic and seemed to be struggling to get to the top for possibly for air. It was so unusual that I took to the internet to do a bit more research. I started to come across accounts from people that had used Pimifix but their coolie loaches had unexpectedly died. This then prompted me to go to the API website to see if there are any warnings in place about using it. So I checked the website to see if there are any warnings in place, in particular for any particular fish types that uh, might have a negative reaction. There doesn't seem to be anything there. This only covers what it treats. If anything, it would probably be in here, frequently asked questions. Two questions didn't give me an answer. Obviously, there are not many frequently asked questions from people. Ah, oh, safety sheet. Perhaps I should look at that. Ah, 
uh, personal protection. I can imagine myself wearing that in my little old fish room. Well, clearly this document is for major spills and not home use. As in concentrations, it generally can have um, some nasty effects, may cause cancer, as does everything. Uh, harmful to aquatic life with long lasting effects. So I'm not going to find my answer here. Well, there's nothing on the website that I could find to say that um, it adversely affects any fish. And by the same token, I couldn't find anything to say that it can be safely used with all fish. So what to do? Seems I have two options. I leave the treatment in the water and possibly risk losing my coolie loaches. Or I get rid of the medication from the tank. Now I now I'm quite attached to my coolie loaches, I've had them for a few years, so I think I'll take the latter and do a quick water change. So I gave the tank a 75% water change and a couple of hours later another one of about 50%. I even put in a carbon filter just next to the intake for my main filter system. And over the next couple of days I also did some large water changes. The outcome was good. Coolie loaches were fine and the disease did not spread further into the tank. As for the quarry, I continued with medication over several days but unfortunately I just couldn't save it. Now I don't, I don't blame the medication for that. Um, Pimifix or anything else is not going to give an immediate overnight cure. Uh, these things take time. And it's the same with medications for humans. I'll keep the Pimifix. It might come in useful in the future. Although I'll be a little bit more selective as to how I use it. I did take the opportunity to stock up on my medications. Uh, in case I have an outbreak of something in the future. Perhaps something we should all do. Thank you for watching.